Transition engineering is a new engineering discipline. It's a new way of thinking about and a new way of adapting the complex engineered systems on which we all depend. The transition engineering approach follows a simple seven-step model that plots resource use against time. We learn from history. Current status and future projections create path break concepts. Backcast a change route map, create trigger events to overcome inertia, and use standard engineering change management to bring it all to fruition. The premise is that whenever there's a new opportunity or new problems, that a field of engineering emerges to realize those opportunities or address those problems. And I think it's kind of obvious that that's true, that that happens. But transition engineering, now we're, we're looking at addressing problems which um, are big and complex. And that main problem is that the future is not like the past. That over the last couple hundred years of the Industrial Revolution, everything has been in engineering about keeping up with growth, keeping up with making sure that our railroads were big enough first, that our ships were big enough, and then that our roads were big enough, and then that our cars were fast enough, etc. So now the next 200 years are going to be about adapting to the limitations, the physical limitations of the resources that we've got. About five years ago, I was involved in what I called engineering for sustainability. And I was also involved in the transition towns movement. And I thought, what is it that I'm actually doing? And then I thought, what I'm doing is called transition engineering. The Global Association for Transition Engineering, or GATE, is a professional membership association that includes people who are transition engineers, but also professionals who work at the three corners of sustainability, professional economists, professional ecologists, and professional social scientists.